This is the Citroen EC3. Wait, hang on a second. That's the regular. Right. This is the Citroen EC3 and no prizes for guessing is the electric version of Citroen's funky little hatchback that's just got its price. Welcome to the Zig Fast Forward. All you need to know without the nonsense. Well, we were expecting this car to start under rupees 10 lakh, but its prices range between rupees 11.5 and 12.43 lakh ex showroom. So the Tata Tiago EV is still very much the most affordable electric car you can drive home right now. So what does this money get you? Well, not a particularly different styling package for sure. Save for a couple of EC3 badges, the C3 and the EC3 look basically the same. No blue or green contrast finishers, lightning bolts or flowers all over the car to make sure everyone knows you don't have an exhaust pipe. Not a negative in our books because why meddle with what's a good looking car to begin with? Aside from losing an engine note, the addition of a battery pack also makes it drop about 10 mm of ground clearance versus the standard car, but it's still plenty at 170 mm. Now to the good stuff. Do you like to feel the thrill of electrification? Do you want to be thrown back into your seat to feel the punch of instant torque? Do you want to get a 12 pack of goosebumps every time you hit the accelerator? Well, this isn't the car for you. In our first drive experience which you can read from the link in the description, we quickly learned the EC3 is probably the most easy going electric car you can buy. It only makes 57 horsepower and 143 newton meters of torque. For a car that's roughly 300 kilograms heavier than the standard C3 petrol, as for the claimed range, that stands at 320 kilometers, so probably 200 to 250 kilometers in real-world conditions. Clearly, a more city-focused EV. The good news is the EC3's 29.2 kilowatt-hour battery pack can be DC fast charged every time, with a 10 to 80 percent charge requiring under an hour's time. This is also why the EC3 might make a lot of sense for corporate fleet buyers. It's also just as spacious and tall people friendly as ever and even has the same 315 liter boot as the standard C3 with no spare tire sacrifice involved either. However, it also carries on with the same weird misses. The mirror adjustment still manual. There's no auto AC or push button start, not even a rear wiper or defogger and the digital instrument cluster looks very outdated. It does have the same 10-inch touchscreen with CarPlay and Android Auto support though. So does this familiar yet different French formula make sense to you? Would you like to see the EC3 go through the Zigwheel special drive to death test? If yes, give us a hell yes in the comment section.